Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be kind of more chill. I'm just going to show you guys my hygiene routine and it's also kind of my pamper routine that I do on weekends, mostly Saturdays. Um, but basically I'm going to show you around in my shower, show you all the products that I use and everything that I use to kind of relax myself on the weekends. So I'm going to take you guys with me and we're going to go into the bathroom. Okay, so here we are in my bathroom and I've got the shower curtain behind me and I'm going to go ahead and open it up and show you guys everything that I have in my shower. Okay, so I did actually just hop out of the shower so it is a little wet in here, but I'm going to show you guys I have... Uh, we have like three shower caddy holder things. So this is like the main one, of course, the one that hooks onto your shower head. And um, me and my brother share this one. And then I've got this one right here. And then another one over here that's suction cup. So I'm gonna start over here. Um, basically, I have my razor right here. This is the um, Flamingo brand from Target. I actually really, really love these because you can detach this razor head and just put in a new one and it came with its own little suction cup. I highly recommend this. I actually like love this razor. I've never been like committed to a razor brand before, but I really, really like this one. Um, then I've just got my loofah and then I have this Eco Tools um, brush. It turned weird color when I put it in the shower. I think it's just cause it's wood, but I use this sometimes to uh, wash my back and to scrub my back. Um, just sometimes if I get, um, I sometimes get acne on my back, so I'll use this to scrub. And actually I forgot to show you guys, but I do have this little section right here where we hang our towels and I have a dry brush. This is just an Eco Tools um, dry brush and I use this to exfoliate before I shower. I highly recommend this if you guys have um, keratosis pilaris or anything like that where you have uh, like dry skin on the back of your arms and your legs. I highly recommend this. Okay, back to the shower. I've got a little clip here for when I do uh, my conditioner. I like to clip my hair back while I condition my hair. I have this shampoo scrub. You guys, this is actually amazing. I really love this. It's the Love Beauty and Planet Sulfate Free Charcoal and Bergamot Shampoo Scrub. And it's got little like um, black charcoal bits in here and it's like a jelly texture but it's a really, really good scalp scrub. I highly recommend this. If you have uh, like problems with dandruff or buildup on your scalp, I highly recommend. And then I've got my Mary Kay Botanical Cleanser in here. I like to um, wash my face when I'm in the shower. And then I've got a few shower gels. I have sweater weather in here just cause I wanted to get some use out of it. So whenever I want to use that, I can. Um, I've also got frosted cranberry in here. This is in my uh, winter project use it up if you haven't seen that already. So I have some progress lines on here. The last thing in this is my shave gel. I use the Skin to Mint Skin Therapy Dry Skin one. Um, I don't, I'm not really picky about my shave gel. I just know that I like this brand. So I usually pick this one up or really anything from Skin to Mint. And this little shower organizer is from Home Goods. So if you guys are looking for one like this, I actually would not recommend this though because the uh, suction cups aren't that great and it falls sometimes. It hasn't fallen in quite some time, but when I first got it, it fell a lot. So I don't recommend this one. However, I do recommend this other suction cup one that I have right here. This one I think is also from Home Goods and it has like the real suction cups on the back so this one holds a lot more i think but it doesn't hold as heavy of stuff i don't really have heavy stuff in here i have the smaller stuff that would kind of like fall out of these wires in here so first thing you'll see is my mary Kay spin brush i use this on my face not all the time but sometimes when i feel like either i've had like a heavy face of makeup on that day i'll use this so I don't use this too often. And then I've also got my Mary Kay exfoliating powder. Again, I don't use this that much, but I use this probably every Saturday. When I scrub my body, I also do uh, scrub my face. And then I've got, it's upside down because there's not that much left, but I have the Twisted Peppermint Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works in a mini. This is also in my project use it up for the winter and then i've got this mint drop exfoliating lip scrub also from bath and body works i highly recommend this this is from last year actually and i still have it and um i'm maybe a third of the way or sorry two thirds of the way through i have a third left 
I highly recommend picking this up. They have it out again this year and it's in mint drop and like a few other flavors, but this is so good. I use this maybe every other day, just when I feel like I have dry skin on my lips. I feel like with masks on and wearing masks all the time, my lips have gotten super chapped like more often than they used to. So this has been a godsend. And then I've got this little scalp scrubbing brush. So this is from Apana Lux. I really, I got this, I think at um, Marshall's and you just scrub your shampoo in on your scalp with this. I highly recommend this. Also, if you have, really for anybody, but if you have a problem with um, product buildup or dandruff or flakes on your scalp, I highly recommend this. Another hair product that I have in here is the Moroccan Gold Series Treatment Mask. I got this, I think, in a FabFitFun, but it is really, really good. I highly recommend this. I'll do a hair mask about once a week, maybe once every two weeks. I'll let it sit on my hair and um, for maybe like 10 minutes or so while I shave my legs and wash my body and stuff. And it's really, really good. So I highly recommend any hair mask really, but I really like this brand. And then this is kind of random, but I just have a hair comb in here. I like to comb out my hair once the conditioner is in it um, before I clip it up. Moving on to the big daddy shower caddy. This is my brother's loofah, but this is actually a scrubber that I use to exfoliate. This is from the brand Earth Therapeutics. I think I got this at Ulta, but I really recommend getting something to put your body scrub on um, while you do it. I feel like it just works better. Um, I used to use a glove, but I actually found that I didn't like how that felt on my hands. So I really like this because you can just put it on like this on your hand and scrub on your body. And I feel like this works a lot better. I've also got my Aveeno baby, uh, baby wash. This was when I had hives on my body. I definitely recommend this if you have sensitive skin, use a baby wash. And then I've got this hydrating body oil. This is also in my project Use It Up. I try to use this after every time that I shave my legs, which is pretty much every Saturday, once a week, um, so or maybe twice a week sometimes. It just depends on if I'm wearing like shorts or something. But yeah, hydrating body oil. This is my brother's. Um, he uses Mary Kay Time Wise 3-in-1 for his uh, face wash. And he uses... Honestly, my whole family uses this. It's the Suave Cocoa Butter and Shea Body Wash. They just like this. They don't care about scents or anything. It just gets the job done. And then here at the top, I've got my body scrub. Currently, I'm using the Coffee and Cream Body Scrub. I think I'm about halfway, um, right about here on the use on this, but I really, really love it. Um, it smells like straight up coffee, like you just, you're, you just brewed a pot of coffee. I love it. And it is a very heavy exfoliator. I, I am just in love. I seriously love this exfoliator. So I had this conditioner upside down, but this is the Derma E Scalp Relief Conditioner. I highly recommend this. Again, if you have problems with your scalp, I had, I think some psoriasis or eczema patches on the back of my scalp, kind of on the crown and around my ears. Um, for a while, for pretty much all of 2020, I had had a horrible itchy scalp. And when I started using this conditioner and shampoo, but I'm out of the shampoo now, um, once I started using these two combined, it really went away. So I definitely recommend this. I'll be picking up another shampoo, um, but for now I'm trying to use up this head and shoulders. This head and shoulder shampoo in um, instant relief, cooling, uh, daily shampoo. I definitely don't recommend using head and shoulders like every single day. I use this, I maybe wash my hair three times a week. I use this like once a week and then I'll use the scrub as well. And I've been meaning to put in another um, like regular shampoo into my routine. I just haven't gotten to it yet. But yeah, head and shoulders does work, but for me, it didn't do what I needed it to do. But my dermatologist did recommend it, so it, it is a good brand. I just wouldn't use this every time you shampoo. Okay, so that is everything for inside of my shower. I'm just gonna run through with you kind of like the routine, what I do first. Um, so basically, I, if I'm washing my hair, then I'll brush my hair out before I get in the shower. I have uh, pretty much curly, wavy hair, um, and I usually like to wear it natural, so I'll brush my hair out before I get in the shower if I'm washing it. If I'm not washing it, I'll put it up in a turvy twist. Um, I'll like clip it up and I'll put it up in a turvy twist so that way it doesn't get wet. But um, and then I'll get in the shower and I'll start off with shampoo and then I'll use my shampoo brush and then I'll do, I'll wash that out. I'll do conditioner, comb through it and clip it up. I don't like my hair like all over me when it's conditioned. I don't know, it just feels weird. And then I feel like when I uh, wash my body, then I'm 
putting that body wash into my hair and I just don't like that. So I just clip it up while it's being conditioned and then I'll do my body wash on my loofah. And then if I am scrubbing that day, which I usually do every Saturday, I will take my little scrubby and I'll put my body scrub in it and then I'll scrub my whole body and then um, wash that off. And if I'm shaving my legs that day, then I'll do that. I'll shave my legs, wash that off, and then I will wash my face usually either before I wash up my conditioner or after, just kind of depending. I don't really care that much about it. And while I wash my face, I will also do the lip scrub and then I will wash all the conditioner out. And then I will kind of give my body a good, um, like I'll rub it to make sure that there's no conditioner on my body, you know? And then if I want to scrub my back, then I'll scrub my back after that. Just because I have noticed if I'm getting back knee, the um, conditioner will not help. So I, I wanna wash that conditioner off. So that is everything for when I get in the shower. And then I'll towel dry off and put on some of that body um, oil if I'm putting it on that day if I had just shaved and then I will go into my room and put on my moisturizers So we're gonna go into my room now. Okay, so we're back in my room And I've got my moisturizers with me the ones that I usually like to use But I also wanted to show you my turby twist So basically this is like a little hair wrap that I put my wet hair in after I get out of the shower or I'll put my hair um, in this if I don't want to get it wet during the shower. So I got a two pack of these, I think from Marshalls. And basically you put it on top of your head. So you can do it this way if your hair is dry and then you'll twist your hair in the back of it and then button it up here. And if your hair is wet, then you'll do the opposite. You'll flip your head over, put it on with the button in the back and then twist your hair like you usually do in your towel and put it up back here. So I just wanted to show you guys this. I really, really love these and I've had them for a while so they really are a time saver and they save you another towel um, from using another towel on your hair during your shower. And I just like hang these up to dry and I use them for a few uses. Usually I'll wash them after either my wet hair has been in here like twice or just whenever I feel like it. <laughs> and then I also wanted to show you guys, I do have a robe that I like to use on my pamper days and I'll put this on, I'll dry off out of my shower and then I'll put this on instead of putting on clothes. And that way kind of like my moisturized skin can kind of breathe for a little bit. But basically it's this like waffle knit. I'll get up close so you can see it, but it's this waffle pattern and it has my <laughs> monogram on it. I got this in college. I think we ordered these as a group off of Etsy. And um, yeah, I just really like it. It's very nice and lightweight too. If you live in like a warmer climate, um, I wear this year round and I don't get like sweaty in the summer in it or anything. It is breathable. Um, you probably might not want this if you live in a colder climate, but I feel like this is good year round. Um, and I just love wearing this on my pamper days with like a mask on my face. I don't have to put on clothes over my mask and stuff. So anyways, oh. Good thinking, Victoria. Also on my pamper days, I like to do a face mask, whether that be a um, charcoal mask from Mary Kay or um, like a paper sheet mask. I love the Tony Moly sheet, sheet mask. Um, and yeah, I usually do a face mask on my pamper days on Saturdays. And I also usually paint my nails. Right now I have on SE Say It Ain't Soho. I'm not gonna show you super close but it's like this orange color it's my favorite favorite nail polish that i own i think i'm going to change it today to um some sort of christmasy color but i usually paint my nails on my pamper days every saturday and once i've done my shower i will go in with my body moisturizers so i'll show you guys what i've been using lately um i've been using the sleep body lotion in black chamomile this is also all of these are in my project to use it up um this one is really good if I'm about to go to sleep. So if I showered at night instead of during the day, I usually shower during the day on my off days because I like to let my um, natural hair air dry and then like I'll blow dry it too. But um, yeah, this one's good if I'm showering at nighttime and it kind of like relaxes me. I've been using the Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Ultra Shea Body Cream from Bath & Body Works. This one, um, I I'm not the biggest fan of the smell. 
but I love their body creams. I'm just trying to use this up. It's also my project, but um, I love the body cream consistency. Um, I feel like it really, really moisturizes my skin. I definitely have to wait a little bit before putting on clothes if I use this, um, but it definitely gets the job done in moisturizing. And the last moisturizer that I have in here is the Twisted Peppermint Body Lotion. This is just a mini. It's also in my project Use It Up, and it's pretty old actually, but I used this last night, and let me tell you, the way this, that it smells once it's dried down on your skin is so comforting. I really, really love it, and it's peppermint, so it's really good for winter time right now. It makes me feel all Christmassy when I use it. Um, but I do also really love their body lotions from Bath & Body Works. I feel like they are very moisturizing. Not as much as the body creams, but if I'm going to um, moisturize during the day, then I'm going to use this because it dries super fast and then I can just like slip my jeans on um, and not have to worry about being sticky, you know? So that is everything for my hygiene routine. I hope that you guys enjoyed this and learned a little something. Let me know down below what is your kind of like secret weapon for your hygiene routine. I think mine is my dry brush that I use before the shower and that like scrubby thing that I put my body scrub on. Those two are kind of like my little things that I picked up that I really, really love and now I can't live without. Um, but anyways, that is the end of this video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe down below, like, and comment, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!